Are you looking to start a clothing brand 2024? Great, in this video I'm going to take you through 10 important steps you need to make. But first I want to tell you about my story as a new brand owner. It all began in 2020 with a simple idea. My friend came to me with a concept of creating an active attire brand. Excited and motivated, I dove into research and everything I could about starting a clothing brand. However, as time passed, we didn't make any concrete steps and the idea slowly started to phase out. But my passion for starting a brand didn't fade. Years went by and I explored plenty of other ventures, but the idea of having a clothing brand always stuck by me. And then one day, the name Urban Attire just came to me and it stuck. It resonated with the urban lifestyle and the streetwear culture I wanted to represent. I started with just one t-shirt from a print-on-demand company close to me to see my vision come to life. But it wasn't until 2022 when I decided to take this seriously. I knew I had to invest time and effort into making urban attire a reality. While working a 40 hour job, I dedicated every spare minute I had into researching the industry. I tried multiple free apps like Canva, Inkscape and Gimp to create my initial designs. I then went on to try different suppliers and products until I found the manufacturer that we're using right now. Ensuring the quality matched my vision. It was halfway through 2023 when I invested in the necessary tools and equipment to produce and print my products in-house. From heat presses to DTF printers, I experimented with different printing techniques. I even printed on water cups, school bags, different types of clothing just to perfect my craft. A breakthrough came for me when I got to print merchandise for a popular MMA promotion, Cage Legacy. We got to advertise our brand at two of their events giving us significant exposure, but also giving me an insight of what life as a brand owner could be like. Heading into 2024, I completed an 11 week business course passing it with flying colours. I developed a comprehensive 3 year business plan, identifying my clients and also my competition. During this course, I also started this YouTube channel. Initially, I posted comedy shorts to showcase my personality. Gradually, I began to produce long form videos about streetwear. The idea was to leverage the YouTube channel as my primary marketing tool. This paid off as my audience is growing at a steady pace. In the recent weeks, I've set up a Shopify store and a Depop account. I've also joined the bandwagon of Reddit, TikTok and Instagram. Staying as active as possible and engaging with our audience to let them know when the brand will be launching. And now, as we approach the official launch of Urban Attire, I am more excited than ever. It's been a long journey, it's been filled with challenges and learning experiences, but seeing my vision come to life has made it all worth it. But guys, that is enough about me. Let's get into why you're here. Here's 10 tips to get you started on your business journey. Business journey? Yeah. Step one, first and foremost, it's find your idea and your passion. Identify what excites you and what kind of brand you want to create. This will be the foundation of your brand's identity. Step two is conduct market research. Research your target market, your competitors, and industry trends. Understand what your potential customers want and how you can stand them. Step three is making a business plan. This is essential, guys. Create a comprehensive business plan. Outline your brand's mission, target audience, marketing strategies, financial projections, and long-term goals. Remember to give your business plan the time it deserves as this is a blueprint for your business going forward. Step four is to design your brand's identity. Developing a unique brand name, a logo and visual identity. Use tools like Canva, Gimp, Inkscape to create your initial designs. Like stuff like this guys, our, our set logo here, that's a U and an A for Urban Attire. We also have our slogan which would be wear the street so it's basically like we wear the street but it's wear as in you're wearing the clothes uh, and then this here as you already know from our youtube channel our logo is a gorilla that's that's kind of the face behind ours where this here is a skull of a gorilla just like an example of what you could do you know moving on to step five it's source your products this is very important guys, find a reliable supplier or manufacturers, order samples, make sure you're ordering samples, don't sign any agreements with anyone saying that yeah I'll take 50 off you up front, guys you need samples okay, because you might not like your first product. Even if you do like your first product, I recommend getting a second product, a third product, just trying a couple of different ones, ask um, print on demand companies for advice of where what they recommend some of them will tell you some of them won't tell you because obviously it's their business but i know from my personal experience 
the print on demand company I was working with for, they were very helpful to me and they gave me loads of tips and tricks and even showed me how to get started on a lot of the printed side of things myself. So yeah, find your suppliers, your manufacturers, order samples and make sure they align with your brand standards. If you're going eco-friendly, make sure it's 100% cotton, etc. Step six is a risky one, right? It's invest in equipment, guys. If you plan to produce and customize your products yourself, you're gonna have to invest in the necessary equipments. Uh, heat presses, DTF printers, other printing tools. You might need a, a circuit cut machine. The tools of that, they can be expensive. It is an awful lot. You're gonna want a good PC to do your designs on. When Obviously, when you move off Canva, like, a lot of you can do now. If you design on Canva, you could use a print on demand company to print the t-shirts for you. But if you're looking to cut costs and do most of the work yourself to kind of stay in tune with what's going on in the brand, you're going to have to invest. Step seven is the fun part, but it can be very nerve wracking for a lot of people. It's setting up your online presence. Create a professional website. You can use platforms such as Shopify or I've heard of WordPress. Setting up social media platforms like Instagrams, Facebook, Snapchats, Twitters, TikToks, YouTubes, anything you want to push your brand on, just set it up guys. Don't be nervous, just put it out there. People will either like it or they won't. Rewards don't come without the risk. Not everyone will buy your stuff, but there's a large majority of people who will. Think about it guys, there's a market out there for everyone. Step eight is create content and market your brand. This is very important. As you probably see in our TikToks, Instagrams, uh, even our YouTube shorts, we create kind of fun videos. On here, we do a lot of comedy videos and we try wear our logos as much as possible. Our logos are always on display in our YouTube channel. And um, but also, I have a video where like it's I'm looking like, I look like a giant. I'm jumping over the wall to pick up a T-shirt. Oh, excuse me, keeping it real, guys. But yeah something like that it's like fun engaging that people like are like whoa mind blown and then they want to learn how to do it you know so marketing your brand is a big part of it and you can make it fun rather than just saying oh here's a t-shirt come buy my t-shirt buy my fucking t-shirt but while we're on that when i drop buy my t-shirt so developing engaging content that resonates with your audience is a big thing use tools blog posts social media updates promoting your brand and build the following because that following is gonna boost your brand. Like you can't just come out of woodwork and say, here, oh, here, buy this, you know? People are like, who the fuck are you? Like, why should I buy your shit, you know? Obviously, people are gonna buy certain stuff, certain stuff, certain stuff because of the type of product it is, but they wanna know a personality behind a brand. Step nine, and a lot of you might think that this is the final step, it's launch and promote, okay? Plan out your launch event, campaigns to introduce your brand to the world, use emails, marketing, social media ads, collaborations to spread the word. Launch that brand, right? Whatever it is. Whether you're doing t-shirts, guys, whether you're doing um cakes, like a lot a lot of these tips can re resonate in anything. Like you have to design the cake, don't you? If you're doing it, if you're doing say beauty products, whether it be nails or lashes, you're designing them up, you still need to design packaging and all that. So Promote the fuck out of your brand from the minute you get started to the minute you launch. You can be promoting, this is coming, this is coming, this is coming. Uh, what do you think about this? This is gonna stick, this, we were gonna do this, but we think this is better. What does? What do you think? People are gonna be like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're gonna be looking, following your stuff, and then when you're launched, they're gonna be excited as well, rather than if you just come out of the world and go, oh, I sell t-shirts. They're like, oh, cool, since when were you doing that? Build the hype behind it, you know? Step 10 is engage with your customers. Build a community around your brand. Engage with your customers through social medias. Guys, always take feedback, okay? And negative feedback isn't always negative feedback. Turn it into positive feedback. If something isn't working and your, your clients are letting you know it's not working, that's a good thing, guys. That shows that they want the best products available from you. So if, if I get feedback saying like, oh, this design came off within five washes, like I need to take that as positive feedback and know how to fix that because otherwise that client more than likely isn't going to come back and buy another product about me. So rather than just having no feedback, I'd rather know well, how did you get on with t-shirt? Is it good? Is it bad? I, I need that to grow. And even if it's negative, I'll need that to 
to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else. So, like, if this falls out and fire washes, I need to know how can I fix this. Now, I know it doesn't fall off because I tested my product, you know. So, this is like four years in the work, guys. Four years in the works, okay? Let me have it. And going off of that, guys, four years in the works. Remember, building a brand takes time, it takes dedication. It, stay true to your vision and be patient and continue pushing forward constantly, okay? Guys, that's it. There's a 10 tips. I hope you take them and use them to your advantage. If you have any tips that I left out, do leave them in the comments below. Guys, make sure you are subscribed. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Reddit, Depop. Stay updated, okay? Welcome to the Urban Family. And don't forget, we're the street. All right, gentlemen. I want you to repeat after me just how I do it. Ready? Rock da 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 da